Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please hit the thumbs up button down below to show your support. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. Narcissists do not see their karma. Narcissists don't believe in karma. They will never see their karma. They will never make the connection. And they will never know that their pain and sadness is the result of their past actions. They're never going to look at themselves and think they're anything less than perfect. And that is their karma. They don't self-reflect. They can't look at themselves and accept their own flaws and imperfections. So their entire life is fake. They wear a mask pretending they're okay while they hate themselves and they're dying inside. But they wear a mask because they created a false persona that doesn't care about any of that. And they can never be vulnerable. They can only play the victim and blame everyone else. But they can't ever go within and accept that maybe they're not so perfect after all. Maybe they have made mistakes. Maybe they did mess things up. And that's why they can't feel. It's why they can't enjoy anything. No matter how many partners, houses or cars they have. It's never going to mean anything to them. They're never going to be grateful. They're never going to experience love or an emotional connection. Because that requires vulnerability where we have to go within and accept our own shortcomings, something they can't do. They have to act like they're untouchable, like nothing you do can affect them. Because of their ego, their false sense of superiority, and as though you're always the problem, you're the one who is crazy. We don't do that. We look at ourselves. We question if we're bad, if we're crazy, if we're the narcissist. Because we can self-reflect. We do have a true self, a true identity. Something that keeps us in check and causes us to question ourselves. Which is what they play on a lot because they don't ever want to go within themselves and this is why they can't feel. This is why they can't enjoy anything. And yet they still have these addictions where they're constantly needing something to complete them, where they will cheat, lie and steal and do whatever they have to do to get what they want. But even when they get it, they're still miserable and then they always want more because they never check themselves. They never look within, they never take accountability, they never accept blame, so they're suffering every day. And they project that suffering onto you because it's our suffering that makes us question ourselves and if we did something wrong. So they run away from it. They act like they're living this perfect life. They're in denial. This is why they never see their karma, and it looks like everything is fine. Like they're not going through anything. But the closest person to them is always seeing it. When you were with them, you may remember their hour-long monologues. Playing the victim, blaming everyone, complaining about their lives. Always stressed. With a low threshold for anything demanding, especially when it comes to close relationships. Because they have no inner sense of value. They have nothing to give, not even to themselves. They have to get it from other people. But it's never enough, they're never satisfied, and this is their karma. 
They chose the wrong path. They chose to blame everyone else instead of accepting themselves and their faults, flaws and weaknesses. And because of that, they will never see their karma. But they will feel it every day of their lives while having to see other people like ourselves. Empaths who are actually happy even after everything they did to us. And it will fascinate them because they will never understand how or why. Even after they may have cheated on you, lied to you, stolen your money and possessions, damaged your property, started a smear campaign against you, isolated you, turned everyone against you, and you may have been left with no house, no car, and even had your kids taken away from you. But you still find a reason to smile. You still have things to be happy about. Even if it's just for being alive. Which is something they will never have and they won't even question why. They will just look at you and feel envy and jealousy. They will obsess over you. They will stalk and harass you. And they will do anything they can to bring you down. Because they're outwardly focused. They have to affect people and the external world to temporarily distract themselves from their inner turmoil, which is something they have to do for the rest of their lives. Like medicating a sickness, only it's a condition that never goes away and they can never accept that they have it. They have to live the rest of their lives in denial while it's killing them from the inside and it destroys all of their relationships. They can never find happiness in anything because they sold their souls. So they have nothing within. It's just a void. It needs more and more, but they can never feel fulfilled. While it's so easy for you, you don't even need anything to be happy. But they have to wear this mask and live out this facade. All because they don't want to accept that maybe they're wrong. Maybe they're not perfect. They have made mistakes. If they did that, they would heal. They would finally begin to experience true happiness, love and connection. And this could just be from one relationship or situation in their past, which they're still holding on to. It could be grudges and resentment that they need to let go, where they need to take accountability and accept their part in it because otherwise it will forever haunt them. And it will be the reason why they will never find happiness. It will always affect their quality of life. And it's why they will never experience long-term success in anything. But they don't want to go within because they're on the opposite side of the spectrum. As empaths or codependents, we blame and question ourselves before anyone else. This is why we are highly sensitive and we feel deeply and intensely because we are connected to ourselves. We have a self, they don't. So all they can do is blame us because there's nothing there. All they have is a void, it's just darkness, inner turmoil, which they can easily project onto us because we feel everything. We respond, we agree to it, we accept it, which just perpetuates their curse because as long as we are there to take it, they never have to feel it. So they can continue to live in denial, never taking accountability, never self-reflecting, never feeling anything, never having anything of value or meaning to their lives, just going through life on autopilot, never questioning anything, just living in a bubble, never seeing what life is really like, how beautiful it is, how special people are, because it's just all about them and they have to put their internal condition onto everyone else. They have to hold everyone else accountable. So there's always all of this drama and chaos, arguments and fights, and there's never any peace. But how they treat us is a direct reflection of how they feel about themselves. If you want to know how they're feeling inside, just look at how they're treating you. Their demons in their heads never let them rest. They're restless full of anxiety, always on edge, always seek revenge and looking to bring people down because it's the only thing that brings them joy. And even then it's not really joy, it's a temporary distraction. 
a temporary relief from their pain, which they have to seek for the rest of their lives because this pain never goes away. And they will always be that way. Just remember how they treated you. They didn't care. They didn't check on you. They didn't try to correct it. They didn't care about how you feel. Because they don't even care how they feel. They're disconnected from their emotions. They're always miserable. This is how you know they're never going to be happy. They're never going to find satisfaction in anything because they didn't care about you. They were fine leaving you to yourself. Leaving you to deal with everything on your own. They didn't care about you because they don't even care about themselves. This is how they're this way their entire lives. They never change. They never question themselves. They never hold themselves accountable. Well, that's what love is. Looking at ourselves to see what is wrong, accepting our faults, flaws and mistakes. But they hate themselves, so they turn away from it all. They push away their own reflection. They don't want to see it. They don't want to know. If they cared about their mental, emotional and psychological health, they would immediately think about and care about you. As within, so without. A person can't care about themselves and love themselves and not care about and love everyone and everything else. Especially if it's someone they've already connected with but they never connected with you because they're not connected to themselves. They have no self, so they treat themselves how they treat you and they treat you how they treat themselves. People treat others how they treat themselves and narcissists abandon themselves. They neglect their own mental, emotional and psychological health. They project their insecurities onto you and then mock and ridicule you. They deflect their shame onto you and make you feel bad about yourself. But all of these things are about themselves and not about you. They're harming themselves through you by using you as a vessel because they hate themselves. Everything they do is an expression of their own self-hatred. If they loved and cared about themselves, they would immediately go within to give themselves the love and attention that they need instead of seeking to harm you. But these negative emotions are contagious and if you're not careful you can get caught up in the cycle of being vengeful and seeking relief from your pain through hurting people and putting them down. It's not healthy and it will hurt you more than it hurts them in the long run. Be aware of it. Check yourself so that it doesn't become a habit or an addiction. But you're having to hurt people just to distract yourself from your own pain and self-loathing. Narcissists have been doing this their entire lives. Running from themselves. It's why you can't even have a normal conversation with them. They will always make it about themselves. Their grandiosity and how they're so special. Or how they're the victim. And you're to blame for everything. Because they can't accept themselves. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up down below. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on our website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.